Hello YouTube Divers, this is Waterdive122, and I want to welcome you back to another episode of Bands of the Alphabet. Last time, we talked about my favorite band that starts with the letter O. This time, we're going to talk about my favorite band that starts with the letter P. And that is another member of the big four of the British progressive rock era of the late 60s or early 70s. That is the band Pink Floyd. Um, I've talked about Pink Floyd a lot on this channel-ish, um, with my favorite album of theirs being Dark Side of the Moon, and if you remember from episode 5 of Magic Metal Mondays, this, I mean, Dark Side of the Moon is one of my favorite albums of all time. It appeared at number 9 on that list. Um, and my favorite song on the album is Breathe. Such a soothing, 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 soothing freaking song. I mean, Pink Floyd is definitely one of the only progressive rock bands that I know that does a lot slower stuff. Like, most of the stuff that I've heard from them was, like, very, very slow. Um, if, when it comes to the lineup, um, you would basically have three singers for Pink Floyd um, that would sing, like, different songs. Um, so I just put three vocalists and their respective instruments on here. So, vocals and keyboard goes to the late Richard Wright. Rest in peace, Richard Wright. Vocals and bass goes to Roger Waters. Vocals and guitar goes to David Gilmore. And the drums go to Nick Mason. Um, really strong lineup here. One of the big names of, um, classic rock. Um, and of course, Dark Side of the Moon, uh, if I said it once, I'll say it again. It is one of the best albums ever to be recorded. Um, it lasted on the Billboard charts for 10 freaking years after it's released in 1973. It was that big of an album. And considering in 1973, you had amazing albums like Tales from Topographic Oceans from Yes, South Bloody Sabbath by Black Sabbath, the debut album from Montrose, which was Sammy Hagar's first band. Um, their list, the list just goes on. And Dark Side of the Moon, a lot of people would say this is the best album ever. And if you think that, congratulations. Because this album's fantastic. It's definitely one of my favorites. And it's definitely one of the greatest progressive rock albums ever. So with that said, Pink Floyd, 10 out of 10 band. They take my favorite band that starts with Litter P, so there you go. Now, we go on to the honorable mentions. First honorable mention talks, um, it goes to Pearl Jam, and if you remember from my Nirvana video, um, I talked a little bit about Pearl Jam. Their first two albums, Ten and Verses, are all freaking amazing albums. What more can I say? Um, then you have the 80s glam metal band Poison. And if you remember when I was talking about uh, Motley Crue back in my Letter M video, they're obviously not my favorite band That's the, that starts with Letter M. You would have to go back and watch the video. But I talked about Motley Crue in that video, and in that video I mentioned that I, that next year I'm going to see Motley Crue, Joan Jett, Def Leppard, and Poison with Brett Michaels live in Charlotte. What a freaking show that will be. Am I right? Um... So, I've never seen Poison live, um, but I do know that my parents did see Brett Michaels live over at the, over in Asheville, at the Cherokee Civic Center, I believe that's, uh, that was, or otherwise known as the U.S. Cellular Center, over in Asheville. Saw the footage of that, and it was absolutely killer. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Poison live, but talk dirty to me, um, um, Every Rose has, has Its Thorn is probably my favorite Poison song. It's just absolutely great. And then finally, my third and final honorable mention goes to Prince. The late, great Prince. Um, now, Prince, like I said, he's more of a pop rock band than anything. Um, but especially in, the 2000, in 2016, I was listening to him a lot. And I do mean a lot. Um, we had a Greatest Hits album from him. 
and the eighth track, Raspberry Beret, which is one of my fav which is my favorite song he's done. Um by far. Um he I mean I play that song so much that I wore out the disc. <laughs> I know, it was that freaking amazing. Um, but obviously the song Kiss, probably my second favorite. Uh, when the Doves Cry, um, Little Red Corvette, 1999, the list just goes on. I really, I really enjoy Prince's stuff, and I am so sad that he is gone, like a lot of people are. Um, but Prince, freaking amazing artist, um, even though I don't really like pop rock that much, he is definitely an exception. Prince, what what more can I say? He's freaking amazing. But he's not as amazing as Pink Floyd, who takes the letter P spot on my Bands of the Alphabet list. <laughs> um, and then tune in next time when I talk about my favorite band that starts with the letter Q. That'll be a fun one. So, with that said, thank you so much for watching, my fellow YouTube divers. This is Waterdive122, signing out, ready to dive into more fun on YouTube. Thanks for watching.